Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to make Japanese milk bread known as chokupan. This is a soft, fluffy, creamy white sandwich bread with a hint of sweetness. We will be making it with the Udani method. The stone prover method makes this equal parts of flour with boiling water. This will result in a more tender texture and the bread will stay fresher longer. This bread is perfect for your egg salad sandos. So let's get started! To make the udani, mix 50 grams of bread flour with 50 grams of boiling water. Mix until well incorporated. Cover and chill in the refrigerator overnight. Add into your mixer 150 grams of room temperature whole milk, 15 grams of granulated sugar, 3 grams of instant dry yeast, 10 grams of unsalted butter, all of the udani dough in chunks, 190 grams of bread flour, and 5 grams of salt. With a dough hook, mix on low speed until all of the flour has been incorporated. Then mix on high speed until dough is elastic. Do not walk away from your mixer. You may need to hold down your mixer as it is mixing. Test the dough by stretching it when ready. It should not tear and you should be able to see through it. It should take about 10 to 13 minutes. Roll the dough into a ball and place in a lightly greased bowl. Cover and proof until it doubles in size. Mine took about 70 minutes. Grease your loaf pan with butter. Lightly dust your work surface with flour. Flip the dough out of the bowl and flatten it with your hands into a rectangle. It should be about the length of the loaf pan. From the top, roll the dough down towards you. Then use the heel of your palm to seal the seam. Also seal seams on both ends of the dough with the edge of your palms. Place dough into the loaf pan with the seam side down. Cover with plastic and proof until the dough reaches the top of the pan. Mine took about 70 minutes. When the dough is almost ready, preheat your oven to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the bread for 25 to 30 minutes. As soon as, as, soon as the bread comes out of the oven, you can flip it out onto a cooling rack. Brush the top with egg wash for nice shine. It is an optional step. Allow the bread to cool completely before slicing, at least three to four hours. Time to taste! I toasted it, put some butter and sea salt on it. Got a nice light crunch on the outside, but still tender on the inside. Nice and light, fluffy, creamy, a little sweet, delicious. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the like and subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell button for notifications. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Life is uncertain. Eat dessert first. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!